See, the funny thing is, you actually came over my house the day after you got it fixed. And you were just like, this is like, oh my god, I, I don't Dude, feel pain. You know, I wasn't I... like, you, you felt pain that whole time and you never went for anything. What, I mean, wasn't I in just a much better mood after oh, that? Oh, you were in a fantastic mood after that. Oh, and I... then the game pissed you Dude. off, and then I think you got back into a bad mood. Oh, yeah. I mean... Disgraces. No. Either Could... that or it was Ghost Trickster. The day I got my false tooth was probably the best day of my life. <laughs> it was just like... I mean... I was just like, I can... Good eat... morning. Good, Good morning! morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just go off on that tangent. Oh, my God. I mean, like, I felt like a, a main character in a Disney movie. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something wrong with that uh, Ferris wheel. I think you should probably do something. I know, it looks... You know, I, I would like to be on that ride. I wouldn't. That would be awesome. I don't want to be catapulted out of that thing. Well, I'm sure they'd strap you in. <clears throat> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh, isn't there, like, a giant, like, electric version of these, like, a giant version of these guys that's causing the problem? Oh, yeah. I always find this waterfall really pretty. Why the hell do they hide this waterfall? Like, as an amusement park ride, why do they hide it behind everything? I think that might be what's powering the ride. Yeah, well, it's still very pretty. You're really pretty, Ross. Thank you. Am I a pretty girl? Oh, oh, yeah, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> People get so mad when we quote Spongebob. You know, they really did No, it's mostly just Ghost Trickster, but yes. Oh yeah, Ghost- fuck Ghost Trickster. Super gets a little bit salty because he never grew up with Spongebob. Really? Like yeah. He grew up with Dinosaur Train. That was Dinosaur Train. It's a show about a train and there's dinosaurs. What? Exactly. Do, do I have to go show you the theme song? You, you might. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it, it's a pretty good theme song too. I remember this show as well. If I it, didn't watch it, but I remember. If it. the theme song is as good as the Chalk Zone theme, I will definitely watch it. Um, it's not as good as the Chalk Zone. Theme. Uh, Chalk Zone theme is kind of got there, but it's pretty alright. <laughs> I don't think anything beats the Chalk Zone theme. Chalk Zone theme is pretty good. Oh I like my Code god. Code theme is pretty. Good. I never watched Code Lyoko. You probably should have. It was pretty funny. I, I'm watching it right now. You're I mean, watching it now. Off. How old are you? <clears throat> Kolioko is a solid show. There, there's some mature moments in it. I guess. There I was mean, one joke where she's like, "What is some white icky goo gonna fall on me?" And literally, it's from an alien. And you just see it, and it's just like that looks so phallic on so many levels. <laughs> no, it was like on so many levels. Was it phallic? Like, oh my god. So how are you gonna get past this one, man? Ooh. I think you're cheating, but okay. I am, I am kind of cheating. I will admit it. Well, you know, whatever works. Dude, uh, speedrunners cheat all the time. Well, you know. Oh, well, you won. Sup, bitch. That was my impersonation of, uh... <laughs> or, no, you ever listen to WMMR? And then yes. whenever someone asks, uh, hey, what's the word? And they always play that, the surfing bird song. And then it goes, ah! Ah! I don't remember the way I'm going to say. Radios guess... always have fun sound effects. No, you know what? It's funny. <laughs> the WMMR actually uses the uh, the sound. Yeah, yeah. The loud you told me about that. Nigra. Like... That's what it's called. The description for it is also pretty great. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. By the way, <clears throat> have you have you heard about Dur Dan Daniel? It's you know. It's yes, been a while. I have heard about that. Did you know that it spawned two memes? Other what than just hell? Dan Daniel, it spawned another meme. Oh no! The it white man. It spawned the plant. The plant. The plant. What the hell is that? There's a guy called I Hate Everything on YouTube. Oh. And he's a, he's a fun guy. I love him. I was going to say, he sounds like a fun guy. He, he's a very fun guy. He doesn't actually hate everything. It's just a chat money. But one thing he said he hated was he hated memes. And through extension of it, he, he hated Dan Daniel. And he was like, it's like if I stood, pointed at a plant and just went, Duh, plant. 
the plant, the plant. That would be the equivalent of a meme. <laughs> and he literally. And he started a meme. He literally created a meme. Oh god. It was mostly his fans probably trying to get back at him, but also because it was in essence the exact same thing. That's pretty funny, actually. It's so funny. And it's even more funny because someone joke stole it. Joke stole it? Someone actually, like, almost word for word copied, like, things he said <laughs> in another video. It, it, it really, you know, I have to show you this guy because he's so funny. You would love him. Well, fun guy. One of my new favorite guys on YouTube is Joe's uh, Santagato. Never heard of him. I, I mean, he's just kind of, he's just one of those guys where he talks in front of a camera. Uh, but he's really funny because, like, he has a series called uh, The Idiots of the Internet. Where people on Twitter, Facebook, and whatnot, they just, they post, <laughs> they post shit. And where, like, they don't realize what they're saying and it makes them look like the biggest idiots. Or, uh... He's a need to start Keyshin style. So. What? No. Oh man. Damn it! You're good. You're still on the platform, at least. In fact, you probably could have just walked up here. You didn't have to go to the back way again. Probably. I sort of was just like, you know, he's... Oh, he's yeah, dedicated. I definitely could have just done this. He's very dedicated to this, so I'm gonna let him do it. And, you know, it worked. So if we do end up playing Smash later, I guess I'm gonna have to try out Corinne again, since I have been playing mm -hmm. him at Fates. You see, what I decided to do was, when you pit, you, when you play the game, you're allowed to pick what your starting stats are sort of like. And I chose to be fast and no defense, basically. Oh, man. That was a good decision. Just kidding, it was awful. It was very, very bad. <laughs> I was but gonna like, say. The first 75% of the game, I was such a bad character. Then, in like the last bit, I got god tier speed and became like the best character. I'm like, well, that balanced out. Now, I'm trying again with Nora's Pathline, which is hard, but at least I picked a character who's like a mage. Right. Hit the and button, she Ross. She basically has magic out the wazoo. Magic out the wazoo. Magic out the wazoo. So she's still not defensive, but at least oh. she's the ultimate glass cannon that can annihilate anything if she can hit them. Well, I guess it really is your episode. Oh well. I mean, at least you started it off. I did start it off. Hey, Yoshi go around. Ah, uh, the secret levels. I remember this one being obnoxious to get to and not actually that bad once you get there. Well, I guess we'll find out. You see, because what you have to do is you have to get the specific color Yoshi. And you need an orange Yoshi. Yeah, and in order to get it wants a lemon, Yoshi. and a lemon is like the bit most. Or no, it wants a, a pineapple. A lemon's right there. But no, I want to be difficult and want the most specific. It's like that Yoshi where you have to give him the specific thing from the fruit bearing tree. Pain in the ass. Yep, wants a pineapple. This nigga wants pineapple. He wants that pineapple. To oh wait, fair, there's a pineapple right here. Oh sweet, well, that's a lot easier. Well, okay. <coughs> I apologize. Oh no, the problem isn't waking Yoshi. I think it's like that you have to change him to the specific color. No, he, he, he oh. needs to be orange. Well, never mind. I guess we're just you get yeah you get orange from pineapple and lemons. I guess we're just whiners. Good. We just like whining. I mean, that is kind of what we do. That is sort of what we do. But I don't. Wait. So what happens to Yoshi? Does he just become a yeah. stuffed animal with a stick jammed through his back? Yeah. You got a problem with how those things work? That's brutal, man. If you pound on those nails, you might get some free shit. Oh yeah. I always forget to do that. Yeah, I always have to remind you. Free coin. Never know, you could get a one up. Oh, don't do it, though. I'm still waiting for my Ganondorf amiibo. There you go. Free life. You see, I'm trying to earn up enough money to get a computer. Like an actual computer, not a laptop. That would be awesome. Oh, you mean like a desktop? Yes. What for? Oh, just better editing? Pretty, yeah, absolutely. Like, that is reason number one. Oh my god. If Cantasia would stop fucking crashing. 
Good lord. Man. <laughs> I would actually pay for it if it did. Even though it costs like $200. I'm like, why? Why do you cost so much money? Camtasia costs 200 It costs like $200. Holy shit. Stop, Camtasia. You're not that good. You're not worth $200. You're worth $50 at most. Maybe 100 if I was feeling generous. <laughs> if I had a party of more than five. But no. So why is the laptop the you gave me just slow as shit? Because it's older and it's running Windows 8, even though it was bought when Windows 7 was the newest processor. Windows 8 was a huge upgrade over Windows 7, which was basically in terms of processing power. So it couldn't handle it. So Windows 8 just made it slower. Yeah, that notebook was not made to last many, many years. It was made to last for the time being. And it worked. It's it like, this will hold you over for a little bit. <laughs> it worked well enough. It was enough where I stopped using the main computer. And I had to limit what I could record, but it was usable. However, once I got the thing I have right now, I've pretty much been able to record most anything I wanted. However, the problem now is not the RAM, it's the processing unit. Shit! The Whoa. processor right now is really not good, and that's mostly because it is a laptop, and you can't get much better at processing. Uh, and, uh, you know, a laptop can only get you so far. Plus computers, you can, like, if, if they do start to weaken, you can just be like, alright, well, I'm going to change out some of the parts. Laptops can't do that. Laptops are not changeable that much at all. Alright, that was a speed run. Watching the speed run of this game is incredibly fun. Is it? I, I need to check one out then. They're fun. They're very fun. I've only seen a couple and never to completion, but <laughs> I've definitely seen some of it. And these are like the parts they have to practice the most. Because these are so technical. You can save so much time on these, but... I know, only if you do them right. right. It's like, this is like one of those things where there's like three million ways to do it wrong and one way to do it right. Yep. It's like a Rubik's Cube. The Mario Rubik's Cube. What are we getting now? Oh boy. Oh boy! It's, oh nice boy. it's my turn again. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, at least we're finally able to see more of the island. The sun's definitely starting to come out a little bit more. Yeah, pretty much the whole island in sunlight. I'm gonna go... God, move your ass, Toadsworth. What a shadowy alley. <laughs> I wonder if like... Chinko machine, we should go do that. No! I wonder if like, dark alley crimes happen on Delphino Island. I... Probably, I don't know. I, you I, know, I, there's I, a bunch of big sweaty guys with trees <laughs> on their heads. Probably not. There's, there's not a whole I lot of... This cheesecake. doesn't seem like a third world island. You know? It, it really is. It, this actually seems like a pretty rich place. Wealthy enough. I mean, there's no houses, really. <laughs> yeah, there's no houses! Poor guy. Well, I mean, there's technically houses. Uh, there's I buildings. mean... There's condos, but there's no real buildings. Uh, you know what? I think, I think this is just a resort, actually. Yeah. I'm not sure what these assholes are always doing. Maybe they all work here. Yeah, this is just a vacation place. Maybe they just all work here. I mean, no, they can't all be workers. They gotta be some people, some guests. I think it would be awesome if, like, some people from Paper Mario would appear and shit like this. That would be cool, like Goombella. Well, not like Goombella, but I mean, like... Like, in Paper Mario games, you see the whole Mario cast just appear. Not as enemies, but as, like, random NPCs walking around. This game was very limited. They're like, all right, we got the penis, and uh, that's, that's about it. That's about it, yeah. That's all you need. El Piantissimo. He's the running man from Zelda. He is the mailman, the greatest hero of the American people. You mean the Hyrulean people? Um, all, all people in general. I mean, the mailman is legendary. He works a thankless job. Drones are trying to take it. <laughs> I love hearing stories about where, like, Amazon tries to send drones to deliver a package and they just fly through people's windows. Yeah. You know, they aren't really using drones yet. They're, they're really test prototypes. <laughs> are you gonna lose? You're gonna lose, aren't you? Oh, my watch. 
Uh, I think you're losing on his watch, actually. Oh, shit. You're really gonna have to... Shut the hell up, Ross! <laughs> I'm still flipping. <laughs> he flipped into oblivion. Oh, no! To be fair, this is one of the harder ones, but still. I know. And of course, it shoves you out. I don't want, I would have won if I didn't bump into him. You know, I will admit, even though it shoves you out of the world, it's very nice about how it shoves you out. I mean, you only fall on your butt. In, in Mario 64, you go flying out of that painting. You're just like, boo! <laughs> no. It's like someone's Sparta kicks you right out of it. This is my level. Mamma mia! Ash! Dire Dire Dox! Dire Dire Dox has such a nice feeling. <laughs> I could see that. Someone I, I want to see that. We're <laughs> just like, so Elmar, it looks like you failed this mission. Get the fuck out of my no, I want to see the dude get kicked, but like, as soon as he gets kicked, uh, it plays the Dire Dire Docs theme. <laughs> like, you just you see Mario falling in slow motion. <laughs> Alright, maybe SMG4 can do something like that. Maybe. I can see him doing that. Alright, we got this. We got this. There's no way you don't got this. <laughs> I like it. Someone did a video where, like, what if Mario and Link switched games? You should watch the Young Time video, Mario is Link. Mar yeah, you know what? I saw that. That was so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Young Town. I really do. But that was, was one of the so dumbest funny. things I've ever seen. You know it was a joke, right? <laughs> it was so funny. Five what? reasons your YouTube channel will fail. Number five. You're not British. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Young Town, you're so funny. No, you know what? Actually, it's a... There's a thing, like, I don't know. Amer oh boy, my turn. American girls, they get so turned on by British accents. I don't know why. I, I have a British accent girl as my Waze car. I don't know if that's a thing. What? Like, I have Waze, the app on my phone. It basically uh, is uh, directions. And I have a British lady be my voice. Why don't you just get Google Maps? Because Waze is pretty much better. In my opinion, it's a lot more like the map just looks more accurate to me. It makes more sense. Time to go do everyone's favorite level. Oh, uh, that's a lot. Oh, wait, actually, this one's not so bad. Is this the one where you have to do the slot machine? No. All uh, right. It's better than going through the vents to find the star that's in the pool. There's a way of cheating that. You can actually grab like the the melon and glitch through the glass. It's or, very weird. I mean, you... <sighs> they, they won't let you Again, open the you're door. just trying to find a pineapple. That's all you're trying to do is find a pineapple and you can't fucking find one. Uh, yeah, Mario. So I have a feeling you do it. Alright, so what do I have to do here? Is this finding uh. a pineapple? Or no? What is the right. secret? Spray the booze. Uh... Just do the... Just do the poof. Oh, I have to get all... Oh, no. Do they disappear? Uh, eventually. Oh, great. This is gonna be bad. Okay, well, that was easy enough. Now what? I know, you gotta do it again. You gotta keep going up. Uh, ow. Why do they have tails? Because go who's aboard that tail? Not like that. You're almost there. Get in his mouth! <laughs> 